This is a little video tour of the inside of Phoenix Ridge Yurts. Uh, that's the outside deck. We're on the inside looking out. Incredible view of the Lagarita Mountains. A little bit of rain. It's late fall. Uh, really pretty outside. Uh, we've done a complete remodel on the yurt. Uh, we put new plastic on the windows. It's just crystal clear. You can hardly even see there is a window. Let's see if I can get an outside view there. Uh, it's a 20-foot yurt with a 12-foot yurt attached as a bathroom. Uh, we've got a queen-size futon with a two and a half inch memory foam mattress on top of that. It's really comfortable. Um, you have to bring your own sleeping bags in the winter time. And we provide bedding in the summer, in the fall. So I'm gonna do a 360 panorama first, just to give you an idea. And then we'll walk through and describe each feature. Living in a round structure is something really cool about it kind of hard to describe, you have to experience it. And we are probably the only yurt that has an Elvis tapestry. Elvis is here to stay, like him or not. Okay, so we've got a couch here. Uh, it's really more for sitting than sleeping, it's kind of short. But uh, for kids or a shorter person, I think it's 60 inches, they could sleep. We are dog friendly, that's my partner Jeff's dog, Spare Parts. Hi, parts. Um, the yurt's cool. It has a, a clear dome that you can see the stars through and watch the weather and adds a lot of light. Uh, we did add an extra window looking out on the mountains, that middle window, to open it up and add even more light. So we've got a Waterford wood stove, which is uh, capable of keeping this thing at any temperature you want at any time of the year. We have plenty of wood so you can light a fire. It can be 20 below zero and you'll be in here sweating if you're not careful. Um, you definitely have to keep the fire going when it's winter time and it's cold outside. There's really no thermal mass with these yurts so as long as the fire is going it's totally comfortable. Uh, we've got a kitchen table here that actually the top folds out and uh, doubles in size uh, so we've got I think five or six chairs for that uh, the wood pile uh, fire extinguisher we have a propane gas stove and range um, there's plenty of propane so you can bake or cook on the on the upper surface uh, we've got large pans uh, and those are mostly used in the winter time to melt snow. Um, that's the source of water in the winter. You need to dig snow and melt it. Uh, all kinds of pots and pans, dishes. I think you'll find it fully equipped and functional. We just put a new solar system in, but uh, we haven't hooked it up or installed the lights yet. So that's one of the lights from the old solar system. But there'll be several LED lights. We also have these yard lights that charge outside and then you bring them in and you can just put them around the yurts. Uh, there's a box to put them in because they don't turn off if you don't want the light. Uh, we've got a propane refrigerator there which uh, you can use winter or summer if you want things cold or not to freeze in the winter time. Uh, that's available. Right now we are using water jugs until we finish our water system. We'll have a gravity-fed water system that comes down the hill with hot water and an RV hot water pump and RV hot water heater uh, for the shower and the sink in the bathroom and the sink in the kitchen. So right now it drains out on the ground, no problem. Just use this like a faucet. Uh, let's see. We'll go across to the 12-foot yurt. So there's a a hallway that connects the two yurts uh, with an out outside door, access door. Beautiful day, raining, drizzling. It's really fun to be in the yurts when there's weather outside. It's uh, really special. Uh, inside we have 
this sink isn't hooked up yet. It will be by next year. Um, we, but we do have a shower that is functional. You use this hot man uh, water heater and you can put that on the wood stove or on the propane stove and it has a thermostat on the side Oops. that tells you the temperature and so you know when to take it off. Then you pump it up and it goes over into the shower and you've got a full-size shower. Uh, next year it'll be fully functional where you just turn the faucet. So uh, We also have a composting toilet which is great. There is no smell whatsoever. It does not need to be flushed. Uh, it drops everything into the lower... The, the year it is up on off the ground and so everything drops down into a chamber in the lower section below the yurt. So it's very clean, it doesn't smell, it's super easy, nothing that you have to do except add a handful of peat moss and sawdust which is in here when you use it. So let's see here. I think that's it for the interior. Let's go outside and it's raining but We'll get a little panorama of the view here. Um, it's amazing. This property is, there is no other private property visible anywhere near here. I think the closest property is a mile away and there's only one or two of those. Uh, the rest is all national forest. Uh, we can't see the mountains very good right now because of the rain, but it's a, an incredible view of the Lagaritas, a thousand foot drop off off the edge here down into East Willow Creek. So uh, the yurts we just recovered with metal. That was Jeff's idea instead of uh, the fabric. We do also have a bare fence. That's that white fence there. And you need to be sure and turn that off. That's a high voltage fence to keep bears away. We used to have problems with that. But with the new metal siding and the bare fence, everything's cool. All right, that's it for now.